Hi, I'm Anthony Hughes, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to start Note Input in Dorico, the new music notation software from Steinberg. First of all, make sure you are in write mode. Note Input only works in write mode. So if you're in any other mode, perhaps you have been adding your players in setup mode, then click on the right button here on the toolbar, or press the key command Control 2 on Windows. That's Command 2 on Mac. From here, you have a few different ways to start input. If you like to use the mouse, then you can simply double click where you want to start note input. New scores only have one beat to start with, so we double click here. You will know that you are in note input because the orange carrot and grid appear and let you know where the next musical item will be created. From there, you can then type the note names with your computer keyboard or MIDI keyboard to create them. I'm going to press C, D, E, F, G as the start of my great new composition. Notice how Dorico is lengthening the score to accommodate the notes when they are entered. To exit note input, press the escape key. You can now navigate through the music using the arrow keys or by selecting an item with the mouse. To deselect all items, press Ctrl D on Windows, that's Command D on Mac. And when nothing's selected, you can press one of the arrow keys and that will select the first item in the top leftmost corner of the music area. When there is an active selection, you can also start note input by pressing Enter or Shift N. If you like to see empty bars to write into, then that's easy too. Of course, in order to have bars, we need to have a time signature. Over on the right hand side of the Dorico window is the Notations toolbox, where you will find all the various notations that you need for your music. And I'm going to click this button that will open the Time Signatures panel. And I'm going to select a 4 4 time signature that will be created at the position of the carrot, so in this case, at the beginning of the score. I'm then going to click this button to open the Bars and Bar Lines panel, and in the Insert Bars section, I'm going to choose End of Flow, and set this number to 22, and then press the Insert Bars button. Now I have 24 bars that I can input directly into with the mouse. I hope this has been helpful to you. Please subscribe to our channel to see more videos like this. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.